They are heroes who fly a half million successful missions every year in this country, bringing the sick and the injured to hospitals for life saving treatment. And their lives are on the line every time they lift off. As Alan Schaffler reports, there's an effort underway to build a national memorial to these flight crews who've died saving others. This is a beach where the memories and the misery wash ashore constantly. It's a massive loss, and it's not a loss that really ever goes away. A beach that's hard for Krista Haugen to walk. Six years ago, an airlift Northwest helicopter went down here, killing all three on board. I was immediately devastated. Krista was an airlift flight nurse at the time, and just a month after that crash, survived this one in Olympia. She doesn't fly anymore. She now works on flight safety issues and is a board member for a nonprofit group raising money to build this medical aircrew memorial and survivor's garden outside of Denver. Realistically, we have to have the courage to face these accidents head on and to focus on the life these people lived. Groundbreaking ceremonies were held this summer on a seven acre plot of donated land. They'll need $800,000 to finish the project. You're taking aircraft and putting them up in the sky in all kinds of weather. A project welcomed warmly at Airlift Northwest, where tragedy has struck before. Ten years before the Edmonds crash, a helicopter went down in Puget Sound on the way to Bainbridge Island. All three on board lost. A permanent memorial will help ease those waves of pain. To be able to physically touch their names again, um, it, it brings some warmth to my heart. and. Uh, I think for all of us here, we look for that. And it's really about healing. It's about promoting resilience and recovery and helping people get back on their feet. On a beach in Edmonds, where resolve and commitment also wash ashore, I'm Alan Schaffler, King 5 News. Right now, plans call for 354 names to be etched in that memorial when it opens in 2013. Organizers say their fondest hope is that that number doesn't change between now and then.